Hey everybody, it has been a super busy weekend. I just got the door locked. I was trying to shoot video all weekend, but we were just way too busy. Today, we're kind of going to do a walk and talk around the store. I've got a couple things I need to look at, a couple things I want to bring up. It's just been mass chaos all weekend, and I kind of want to just talk about how it all started. Saturday morning all kind of revolves around these 24-inch Pokemon plush that we got a couple weeks ago from a Target video game load if you missed that video jump back check it out and i pull into the parking lot okay so i'm pulling in the parking lots behind me here and i see a bunch of cars already and i'm thinking hey maybe the karate dojo next door is doing some kind of cobra kai tournament something going on over there but i was wrong in all my front windows i had pokemon plush lined up down through here they looked really good from the outside right and and that's why the people were here. They were like, give us the Pokemon plush, yeah, do it now. These bins also had Pokemon plush in them. They were stacked up pretty high. And the reason why this weekend, like this Saturday, I was doing 25% off all stuffed animals. Pokemon plush, they're stuffed animals, right? And we already had them priced like 25% cheaper than anywhere else. So imagine you're getting a $50 Pokemon plush for $29. 99. Not only did we sell all the ones that were good, I had a whole bunch of them in the back, kind of what I'm calling damaged Pokemon plush. They were the ones that had scuffs, they had rips, and people went through those and picked out the ones that they wanted to fix. And this is what I got left. I got a couple Pikachus, a Slowpoke, and one, two, probably like three Psyducks. And if you look at these, these were pretty heavily damaged product. I was even selling those for decent prices. And that was Saturday up until the middle of the day. It's one of those weird deals where when there's people in here, you get more people in here and it's just this big snowball effect. And I looked up and it had been five hours before I looked around and there was nobody in here. Super busy, super awesome. But that comes with another super set of problems. It's a good, bad, scenario you're selling a lot of toys but that means you need to get more toys in here and if you missed the last video jump back check it out I talk about Amazon canceling a 711 toy order. That's not good news, right? The next order after that is probably 10 or 15 days out. There isn't much going on with Target overstock right now. So I am digging toys out of the back. Toys that were long forgotten. Toys that we couldn't sell. Probably still won't be able to sell them even at super big discounts. But I gotta do something because the shelves are starting to look a little bit thin. And we're gonna take a quick walk about, look around. It's been a while since we've checked out the layout of the store. It's not gonna be a real extensive store tour. On Sundays, I like to walk, look around, kind of see what we got going for the start of the Toy Store week, which is on Wednesday. We are closed on Monday and Tuesdays. Since we're already up front, blabbing on, we'll start up here, look around, and I will show everybody kind of the bird's eye view of the Toy Store here. There it is, right? Nice and quiet. First time it's been quiet all weekend, but here we go. Got the balls looking good up front here. The sporting goods section, so I wanna talk about this. This area of the store doesn't get a lot of action, and I'm thinking maybe we need to change this up. Not exactly sure what I could do over here. It is nice to have a little sporting good area, but I wanna tighten this up a little bit, utilize this space a little bit better. If you've got any ideas after we do the walkthrough, drop it down in the comments below. I would be interested to hear what people think. The sun's a little bright right here, so we're gonna keep it going. Stuffed animals. Jade and I recently just redid this part of the store. I think the stuffed animals look really good up here. We sold a lot of stuffed animals this weekend. I think that's a two part thing, right? I think one, the stuffed animals are better displayed right here and we were doing a 25% off sale. So I think it's a combination deal. But moving on, we sold a bunch of this 4.99 Play-Doh. I've been trying to restock this as we go, but that's good. Get this stuff out of here, $4.99. Bring it over to the Lego, and we sold a couple Lego sets this weekend. 
But for the most part, it was a slow Lego weekend, some more Lego and Funko Pop. Funko was pretty popular this weekend. I put out the new Funko yesterday or the day before. We did some Funko this weekend, so that's good. Always like to see Funko selling. And what else we got going here? This area is kind of a hodgepodge right now. I've got some Amazon returns up here. There's some Barbie stuff. I need to tighten this up a little bit as well. And we'll look over to the cups. I think we'll do a big sale on cups this weekend, kind of a flash sale. You got some more Funko. And then you have the R Generation kind of doll stuff. My niece calls this American Girl knockoff stuff. I'm thinking she's saying the R Generation stuff is made for American Girl, but they don't call it American Girl. I don't know what she means. But anyway, some our generation stuff right here. You've got your Barbie spindly dealy. Barbie was pretty busy this weekend. And if you'll notice, the shelves are starting to look a little thin in certain spots. And I don't have anything to really replace some of this stuff. That's kind of a scary feeling when you're dealing with toys. When people walk in here, they want to see toys, right? Let's keep chugging along. We've got the spindle here. We got Tony's little knickknacks and we sold a lot of Pokemon this weekend. As a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, all of the open scuffy Pokemon from that buy, I had somebody come in and they saw the box and they offered me an offer. <laughs> they threw me a number for all of our open Pokemon from the Amazon returns. I said, sure, take it, get it out of here. So we actually got rid of that stuff. I didn't have to mess with it. And I think we both got a decent deal. I got some money back. They got some cards and that's how commerce works, right? Right up here by the cash register. Every kid that comes in here, they put their face in these things, that pin art stuff. So I should have an amazing immune system because I come down through here, rearrange it, and I should be golden. I should never get sick. This just needs straightened up. You can tell the weekend when people go through the shelves, they're moving stuff around, they're looking, trying to find the best toy they can find. The end caps definitely need straightened up. These were dug through all weekend. Same thing on this side. These haven't been selling very well, so I think I need to move them or do a little bit of price reduction on these lanky boxes and these Dodo lovables. Let's go down the middle. This is gonna be a real quick sweep. I've been straightening the middle up all weekend. It looks okay. It's kind of been thinned out though. We're seeing double, double stacks of toys. We'll do the other side here, kind of the same thing, getting a little thinned out. Seeing a lot of toys that we don't have much luck selling or we haven't had much luck selling. Probably need to reduce some prices on this stuff. And yeah, doesn't look bad though. It'll, it'll get us by. Let's take a quick dive down the dinosaur area, the Nerf guns, but here you go. The dinosaurs got hammered. We sold a lot of dinosaurs this weekend. Sold a couple Nerf, not that many. If there is one section in the store that I really wanna hammer on, probably this week, or maybe when we get our next delivery in, it's gonna be this Nerf kind of this Paw Patrol, cute babies right here. This all needs to be, something else needs to happen right here. And I'm thinking the baby stuff, maybe move it over, move the Nerf stuff down here. I'm not 100% sure. Some of those Amazon trucks are baby toy heavy, toddler toy heavy. So that's what the thought process behind rearranging that would be. This might work like this. It almost gives this figure area a sectioned off type feel. That's kind of what we're going for. The figure wall doesn't look too awful bad, but there's a lot of, I don't know what the word is, peg filler. There's a lot of toys on here that you're gonna have to drop the price of to get rid of. And it's kind of the same way with these wrestlers that Batman deal there and the center little spinny dealio it's looking a little it doesn't look bad actually I was gonna say it looks a little rough but it just needs straightened up and I think I can deal with that and we're looking at the Learning Express stuff. You just straighten this up a little bit. The back corner's got a little bit of trash that needs to go out, but it's not bad. And we will swing over into the Puzzle and Games. Puzzle and Games are going to be on sale this week. And I mentioned this last video. I'm gonna get in here tomorrow and wipe this out. Not necessarily wipe it out, but break it down, make it look a lot better. I'm gonna see how much shelf space I can open up in here. But the puzzle and games aisle was pretty busy this weekend 
And yes, need to get that done. Other than that, I mean, I think that's just a real quick walkabout stuff I'm planning on doing this week, tomorrow. Yeah, it's just gonna be a busy week coming up. The only thing that I am kind of keeping in the back of my head, it's very possible that our upcoming Amazon orders could be canceled. Five Amazon overstock trucks that are already paid for, that money's tied up. Who knows? I mean, we can survive for a while without new inventory. The shelves aren't that thin yet, but you don't want to get in that spiral, right? You don't want to get in that big loop where you don't have the inventory to sell. So money's not coming in to buy new inventory and you just want to avoid that whole situation. Anyway, let's not dive too deep into that tonight. It is Sunday. I'm ready to shut it down. Well, we're already shut down. The store's locked, but let's take one more pan around look at the store here. Got a little bit of straightening up to do. And yeah, it was a really busy weekend. So I'm going to call it a video. I hope everybody had a great weekend. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace.